Mike Stanton. It's October 9th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Thanks, Mike. Uh, last week, we had your colleague uh, Morgan Fahey on the feed. We talked about the fact that there was stronger than expected economic data that was going to put pressure on muni prices. This week, we saw the pressure emerge. Uh, muni yields are uh, significantly higher this week uh, after a, a pretty strong sell-off on the first couple of days of the week. What's your take? So, uh, yeah, we had, you know, last week, Friday, uh, the strong employment numbers um, probably, uh, you know, really put a, uh, a damper on the on the Treasury market. Um, you had uh, this morning a report from B Bureau of Labor Statistics came out. Uh, they make a uh, annually, um, uh, they, they release a report that uh, makes any kind of seasonal adjustment uh, revisions to CPI. And so came out this morning, basically confirmed the progress on inflation that we were seeing uh, in the fourth quarter uh, last year, uh, uh, where the annualized rate came in at 3.3%. So uh, the, the market focus now is going to shift to January's uh, CPI uh, report, comes out on Tuesday, and it's expected to show uh, inflation easing uh, further to 2.9%, uh, paving the way for the Fed to cut rates um, You know, sometimes, sometime between now and June. I think the weakness that you were talking about, uh, I think, was really, um, uh, I think really was the result of uh, traders kind of pushing that rate cut out uh, from March, uh, you know, to to May or June. So um, we had, uh, uh, and that, that's creating still residual selling pressure. Uh, yields on the long end actually ended up the week just uh, up about uh, ten basis points or so. Nothing um, too too dramatic. Uh, the thirty year MMD AAA. Yields is at 357. Treasuries uh, are now back to a 437 uh, in 30 years. It was, you know, a large calendar this week, about eight and a half billion. They were the deals were actually very well uh, received, uh, despite the slightly weaker market tone. Uh, one of the highlights uh, was yesterday a 233 million Oklahoma County Finance Authority lease deal uh, that was priced by DA Davidson. Uh, they used BAM insurance and. Um, the underwriter reported uh, about uh, 10 times over subscription, well over $2 billion uh, in orders, and they were able to lower yields uh, by as much as 13 basis points, given that uh, strong demand. Uh, you know, they also estimated to us that there was about a 30 to 35 basis point net benefit um, to the issuer by, uh, by using the insurance. So very successful uh, deal um, as we turn uh, to next week. I think the calendar is a little bit lighter, more in the uh, six and a half billion uh, range. So um, I think the market uh, should should hang in there. And overall this week, in addition to those transactions, uh, BAM insured a total of $535 million of new issues, a high number uh, for, for a given week, uh, in addition to the uh, Oklahoma transaction. You just mentioned there were uh, transactions from Grand Junction, uh, Colorado, a DA Davidson transaction for $62 million, and the University Area Joint Authority, a transaction that was underwritten by Ray J. Uh, Raymond James in Pennsylvania, of a sewer revenue bond transaction that also was verified as a green bond transaction under the BAM Green Star program. And a uh, BAM Credit Insight video is available on that transaction for any investors uh, interested in taking a look. Um, one thing that was interesting, as you note, Grant, the transactions were well received despite the fact that uh, municipal bond uh, mutual fund uh, cash flows uh, shifted back into the red for the week. Uh, very modest, just about $100 million of, of net outflows after $1.5 billion of inflows the previous week. But um, one of the topics that was raised at the Bond Buyer uh, National Outlook Conference this week, which was well attended here in New York yesterday, was what is the outlook for fund flows? And uh, the audience was very uh, mixed. Uh, slightly under a majority uh, thought that outflows, net outflows, would continue into uh, 2024 just like they were for uh, 22 and 23. Uh, but a, uh, the rest of the audience uh, was very uncertain. Uh, they, the largest, I think, single category was too early to tell. So we'll see how that, uh, that side of the technical factors uh, play out in the next couple of weeks. Looking at to next week, as you mentioned, uh, overall calendar is lighter. I see about $250 million of BAM insured transactions likely to price already on the calendar. Uh, anything standing out to you from that group? Uh, yeah, there's a, a New Jersey education uh, facilities deal for Rowan uh, University. So... Um, That'll be um, uh, that's going to be priced next week. And again, I think that, you know, um, with CPI early in the week, I do expect we're going to have, uh, you know, a similarly strong tone uh, to the market next week, um, you know, despite 
the flows, as you mentioned, which are p- pretty uh, neutral, there still are a lot of February uh, redemptions. So I think the net supply is very manageable uh, in February, and I think that's going to help uh, deals, um, uh, deal performance. Very good. Well, thanks for your time and insights this week, Grant. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.